From this example, let's introduce some notation. First, we have the budget constraint. The budget constraint simply claims that the total expenditure of any bundle may not exceed our income. That is, the total expenditure P1X1 plus P2X2 must be less than or equal to the income M. We also have something called the equation of the budget line, which is an equation that our bundle must satisfy if the total expenditure of the bundle is to be precisely equal to our income. Note that this is a single equation in two variables, and there will be an infinite number of bundles which will satisfy this equation. Next, we introduce the budget line. The budget line is a set or a collection of bundles. Specifically, it's the set of bundles which satisfy the equation of the budget line. You may think that it would be more natural to name this set the budget set instead of the budget line, as it is a set. The reason for this terminology will become clear in the next slide. Let's look at an example. Let's say that our income is equal to 6, P1 is 2, and P2 is 3. The equation of the budget line is 2x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 6. The budget line consists of all bundles that will satisfy this equation. That is, the budget line will be the collection of bundles that has a total expenditure of 6. Well, we know precisely what this set looks like. Every bundle on a straight line from 0,2 to 3,0 will be in this set that we call the budget line. Graphically, this set is a straight line and this is why we call it the budget line. Also note that the budget line must slope downwards at least as long as prices are positive. If you have two different bundles on the budget line, then they will have the same cost. If the first bundle has more cookies compared to the second bundle, then it simply must have less milk if they are to cost exactly the same. Next, we define the budget set. The budget set is the collection of all bundles that satisfy the budget constraint. P1X1 plus P2X2 must be less than or equal to M. The budget set contains all bundles that the individual can afford, including the bundles where the individual is not spending her entire income. The budget set and the budget line are both collections of consumption bundles, but there is an important difference between them. For bundles on the budget line, total expenditure is precisely equal to income, while for bundles in the budget set, total expenditure is less than or equal to income. Here is an example. The red line is the budget line, where P1 is 2 and P2 is 3, and we have 6 units of income. The budget set is then this blue area, and it includes the budget line. 